I'm broke! So, this is how it's done. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, Google for something called phonemes, so you can get the mouth positions and vocalizations that you need for all this. Well, as you can see, you're going to need Photoshop for this. <clears throat> but anyway, go ahead and get that. But as you can see, you have and, o, e, s, sh. You know, a lot of vocalizations you can use in your recordings when we get ready to do this. Okay, the uh, faces I did, I downloaded a free program called Make Human. Um, there's a new Alpha 1 version. It doesn't allow you to do a lot of posing and some of the things that the older version is. So at this time, go ahead and download the 0.9.1 version. It is open source. You can do whatever you want to with it. It works pretty well, and that's what I did the faces with. As you can tell, I'm uh, cheap. So uh, even though I've got Photoshop, this is Photoshop Elements. It was probably the only thing I paid for other than Magic's uh, Movie Edit Pro. This is 14, not even the Plus version. Okay, well, let's go ahead, and you want to migrate to the Selection Brush tool. I use the uh, uh, just the Selection Brush, so I can have control over it and outline the mouth. Give it a little bit of a rim around it so that you can access everything that you need and I'll show you why in here in a minute. Okay now with the mouth selected use your move tool and transfer it over to the face image and we're going to overlay that in just a second. Okay with the mouth selected on the face image move it over so it's overlying the edges. You can adjust the transparency if you want to get the mouth just right but this will work pretty well for right now. Okay, at this point, go ahead and either grab the eraser tool or uh, do that first and remove some of the extra stuff and then use this smudge tool and try to adjust the confines. You can actually even adjust a lot of the uh, different mouth positions in case the phoneme just doesn't seem to fit with what you're trying to do. Okay, at this point, you have several more to do. So what you do is you do one phoneme per syllable. So break your words down into syllables and that's the best way to do it. You can always add more to transition between it like mouth closures and things like that. But start there, okay? Okay, I've opened up uh, Magic's Movie Edit Pro 14 and I'm just going to go ahead and load all the images in order in scene overview. That way I can go ahead and fix it back in the edit field. Let's go in there in the timeline now. Okay, as you can see, I've already loaded my audio track. Now, what you want to do is, as you can see, it's only two seconds. So what we really want to do is uh, we're going to zoom in on this area so that we can get it exactly the way we want it, okay? Okay, you can see that even at five frames zoom in, it's still not enough to cram the uh, 14 frame uh, images into that two-second frame thing. So we're going to switch over and zoom in even further to uh, one frame per second. Okay, looking at the audio track, try to get a good idea where approximately where the breaks are in the vocalizations. So you can line your images up approximately and put them in about uh, one box uh, in there, oh, about two, about seven boxes, excuse me, and then uh, we're going to overlap that here in a second. Okay, generally speaking, what I have is one image lasting approximately uh, seven uh, boxes which is going to be uh, what uh, one fourth of a second and then we've overlapped it by two other boxes okay now uh, I went and zoomed it back out to one second as you can see we have a lot of really small images in that area but that's what you have to do to get the transitions right let's see what it looks like so this is how it's done okay you're right it wasn't perfect but what the heck